Hello, it's me, I'm Pokemon Hoshi for me. Today we're doing a battle match for today's battle match will be Toko for Kama from Danganronpa vs. Killua Zoldic from Hunter x Hunter. So let's get into the connections. Both of them are two teenagers that kill people. Toko is a serial killer, Killua is an assassin. Both of them come from very toxic households. Both of them were basically forced into becoming killers. As Toko can control his, her other serial killer personality. And Killer was forced by his family to become an assassin, both for prodigies in their respective professions. And, um, both of them have some way of controlling electricity, both have stronger forms that they can activate using electricity. Both of them meet the protagonist, who is one of, if not their first friend, such real friend, since both did have friends before. But the you know, circumstances they weren't actually friends, so yeah. Um, both of them had to see their um, friend um, go insane as they saw someone they care about get killed. But um, but Toko, but both took it differently as Toko helped Kamaru get better, while Killer really couldn't do anything to help Gone. Um, both of them fight. Evil group, an evil group, and the Green Leader, the, the Warriors of Hope and Monica for Toko, and the Chimera Ants and Miriam for Killua. And both of them, and the both of them make very different choices at the end of the series as Toko decided to stay in Toa City with Komaru. Well, Killer decided to leave Gon and, 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 like, choose his path of life. So, yeah. Those are the basic connections. There are more, but I wanted to get out the basic ones first. I'll put all, the entire connection list in the description if you couldn't understand my rambling, because I know I speak very unclearly, and I can't control it, to be honest. So, yeah, let's get into who wins. Well, both of them have a massive advantage in one stat. Killua is massively stronger, Toko is way faster. For strength, Toko can was able to scratch for Big Bang Monokuma, who was able to survive and being whose head was able to survive being blasted off and splitting several uh, splitting uh, several clouds, which got count around two megatons of TNT. Killua can go to Yupi, who created a crater, who punched the ground and created a crater, like a giant crater, which would count to around 50 megatons of TNT. So about 25 times difference. Toko is able to, is able to scale to Mukuroku Saba, who saw bullets as if they were frozen in time, and he can scale to Komaru, who dodged um, shots from the... Hacking gun, which both can get to around faster than sound. So I cut off real quick. Um, I had to take care of my dog. So yeah. Anyway, back to discussing who um the speed for both of them. I said Toko can get to around faster than light, while Killua can scale can move around fast as lightning. Uh, using his net and stuff like that. He did ha he does have that one feed where he, um, when he was fighting those Kamehameha ants, and they, like, threw, like, um, darts at him, and they, like, instantly teleport onto his body. I was able to catch one of those, which can be counted around faster than light, which can be argued to match Komo- to that, not Komo, Toko's speed. But, not only is that just one feed, while well, Toko has several, but, um, uh, Toko's feet just overall get faster than Killua, so, yeah. Both are, so, yeah, Toko is still faster, and honestly, that feet could also not get counted to faster than light as well, so just depending on what you buy for that feat as well. So, yeah. Killua is way stronger, while well, Toko is way faster. So let's get into the other stuff. With abilities, I'm on. Killua has electricity. Toko has scissors. Not much you can do with that. Uh, Toko does have a stun gun, but it's 
Probably definitely weaker than Killua's Lightning, so it won't really do much. Um, Toko is potentially invincible in a Genocide Jack form, which could definitely give her a massive advantage, especially if you don't buy Killua's V getting to faster than Light, which then she just blitzes him, as the gap between Light and Lightning is 3,000 times, and... Her being invincible just gives him a, gives her a massive advantage, it's, and would probably allow her to win. But honestly, it's probably just a game mechanic, and just her being way stronger than the Monokumas and and Ultra Spear goals. But she also doesn't take any damage against Big Bang Monokuma, and is notably shown to be somewhat weaker, or like somewhat equal, like not sh much stronger, not so much stronger, so you could, it could also just be a game mechanic as well, several like semantics with that stuff, but yeah, and so Killua could, uh, electricity could potentially just like fly Toko's brain concert to get out of her genocide jack form, and he does have an ability which allows him to like freeze his opponent in like in like when they attack him he can make like a ring around him and when they attack him his lightning hits them without him actually having to attack them which could just shock Toko out of a just like Jack form and give her, give him a chance to win the to attack her when she's not invincible but she is still faster in a regular form so that might not work. But that move is also able to freeze you in place, which could definitely give him an advantage if he's able to use it correctly. But he probably won't know that Toko is invincible when, when she's just hijacked, so yeah. So, who wins? Honestly, uh, I was coming in here thinking uh, Kill was going to win, right? He's stronger, lightning stuff, and he probably... Still wins. It's definitely a lot closer as Mitri thinking that um, I wasn't gone. I was really thinking that Togo should be invincible, but thinking about like the boss fight against the what was it, Hopes Max and Big Bang Monokuma who is still being invincible. I mean, thinking like, is she actually invincible in that form? As like in DL1, she took an explosion without you know taking much damage from it. Oh, in just like Jack form, so yeah. But ultimately, I do believe Killer would win because he is a lot more skilled in fighting and is a lot more experienced as he's been trained as an assassin for most of his life. So I do believe his, his superior skill, experience, and probably like battle intelligence would allow him to come up with a plan to defeat her. More likely than just like Jack will, as Toko doesn't really have, like Toko doesn't have many like battle swords. Like she is smart, but she always doubts herself and isn't that battle smart. And just like Jack says, she has been sane and doesn't really rely on intelligence that much. So I will say overall, Killua probably wins, unless if you buy Toko being invincible when she's just like Jack. In that case, she definitely wins that way. So it really depends on which one you buy. Personally, I believe she. she uh, personally, I believe that she isn't invincible like that. Or in that form, so yeah. So the winner would probably be Killua. You can buy Toko winning if you believe that Killua's um don't feet doesn't get defensive in light and she's invincible. And, well, just like Jack, but overall, I do believe that he does have a one FTL feat. I do believe that can be taken as faster than light, and I don't believe that Toko's invincible, as I just view as a game mechanic. Or just her being massively stronger than her opponents. Which, then, the bosses do have that one problem, but, uh, yeah. But overall, his... Kill us superior strength, skill, experience, and overall more useful 
offensive abilities would definitely give him an overall better chance of winning than Toko does, as he still can like freeze her in place and hit her. So yeah, the winner of this battle match would most likely be Killua Zodic, but you can buy Toko winning, I can see her winning. So yeah, the winner is Killua Zodic from Hunter x Hunter. So yeah, I'm a uh, peace guys, remember, keep on playing, bladers.